The name of five-time world champion and nine-time champion of the Soviet Union in freestyle wrestling Ali Eliev falls out against the background of loud victories of today's famous wrestlers at the Olympic Games and World Championships. And everything started with him. He can be considered a pioneer of wrestling in Dagestan and in the Soviet Union too. And Eliev's phenomenon was that he was engaged in sports and medicine at the same time and found strength to continue wrestling despite the fact that he performed unsuccessfully at three Olympics. Ali Eliev was born on November 29, 1937 in the village of Chok, Republic of Dagestan. Since childhood Ali was actively engaged in sports, namely freestyle wrestling. In due time he graduated from the local medical university and then defended his thesis, receiving the degree of Candidate of Medical Sciences. Thanks to the tireless help of his coach Megamat Ramazanov, Eliev began his professional career in sports. Combining studies with trainings, the Dogestani wrestler began a triumphant ascent to the steps of sports glory. In 1957, Ali Eliev became the champion of Dagestan. Then there was the World Championship in Tehran in 1959, which he won brilliantly. For the first time, Ali Eliev became the world champion in the lightest weight up to 52 kilograms and the first of Dagestan wrestlers who was to take part in the Olympic Games. For Dagestan, it was equal to Gagarin's flight into space. It was with this victory that the ascent of the Dagestan wrestling school began. Eliev became the brand of Dagestan, along with Wrestle Gamzatov, Imam Shamil, and Letskenka. Ali Eliev came to his first Olympics in 1960 in Rome in the rank of favorite in the weight up to 50 to kilograms. Eliev got off to a good start at the Olympic tournament, forcing three rivals to capitulate, including strong Turk Bilak. But then Eliev unexpectedly lost to American Simons. In accordance with the formula of competitions of those years, the wrestler who lost the bout still had a chance to win a medal and, under certain circumstances, even a gold medal. However, Eliev lost again. Having an overwhelming advantage over Iranian Saifpour throughout the fight, he made a fatal mistake in the end. The Iranian caught him on the counter and won. Ali dominated our fight indiscriminately and I didn't even understand how I was able to put him down, the Iranian, who dashed the favorite S. Metal hopes, will say after the bout. Saifpur took the third place, Eliev, the sixth, and the champion was the Turk Bilek. In 1961 at the World Championship in Japan, the famous wrestler from Dagestan won the title of world champion for the second time. In 1962, the World Championship was held in the United States. Ali Eliev immediately attracted the attention of specialists who called him a dynamo on the mat. And this time the Dogestani delighted his fans by becoming world champion again. At the 1964 Olympic Games in the capital of Japan, Ali Eliev held five meetings, won three of them by points, one in a hard fight was reduced to a draw and one lost. The host of the match Yoshida became the opponent of the Dogestani freestyle wrestler. The Japanese earned one point at the very beginning, and all the rest of the time tried to keep a minimal advantage, fighting off Eliev's attacks, in which he succeeded. As a result, Yoshida became the champion, and Eliev was in fourth place. In 1967, the 30-year-old Dogestani became world champion again. And on the eve of the 19th Olympic Games, he was already more than titled five-time world champion, seven-time champion of the Soviet Union and three-time champion of the Spartakiate of the Peoples of the Soviet Union. According to the results of 1967, Ali Eliev was among the ten best sportsmen of the country. Here is what the newspaper Soviet Sport wrote about him. He did not enter, he broke into the big sport, without knocking, without a shy smile. It was as if he knew what he was capable of and what power slumbers in him. People who knew him closely said that no one worked as hard at training as he did. The nature of his native Dagestan, clean air, hot southern sun, infused him with strength, and the mountains gave him the will and courage. At the Olympics in Mexico in 1968, the Soviet Union's wrestling team was probably the strongest in history. Look at the names Eliev, Madvid, Lomidzi, Gurevich, Beryashili, Shakmuradov, Tadiv, Elberian. 
for Eliavid was the last opportunity to become an Olympic champion. In the capital of Mexico, this time Ali Eliev fought in the category up to 57 kilograms. But this Olympic tournament, as well as two previous ones, ended unsuccessfully for Ali Eliev. He again took the fourth place. American Bam, who became the silver medalist, prevented him from climbing the podium. The bout was already over and Eliev was sitting on the mat and did not move. It seemed to him that he was not given two points. Wrestlers of another category had already come out and he was still sitting. They said to him that Esset, go away, you have lost. He realized that it was the end, that he had missed the last opportunity. It was a tragedy for him. And after all this he found the strength to return to the mat and win the championship of the Soviet Union in 1970 in his small homeland in Makhachkala, thus proving that he was a wrestler of the highest class. <laughs>